Hi everybody, it's me Tess with Tess Loves Yarn. And you guys, I am here today to talk about my last craft fair, which was a week ago today. It was last Sunday and it was held at Holy Infant, which is um, a parish that borders my parish. So it was literally five minutes away from my house. And it's a pretty big parish. Um, it's a big, big church and a big school. And so, you know, I've heard that it's not always great to do like church events as a vendor, but I was like, you know, I wanna do it. It's five minutes away from my house. The table fee was really low, and I just thought, what do I have to lose, really, you know? <laughs> so I went ahead and went, and I'm happy I did because I took about, I want to say between eight and $900 worth of inventory, and I sold about half of that. So in my opinion, that's pretty darn good for four hours. So to make over $400 in four hours is pretty good, in my opinion. So I want to share with you guys what sold well and what didn't sell. So you guys, I think everybody knows this pattern. This is the um, <laughs> Mushy Pop pattern are the Mushy Boy. I think it's Mushy Boy. It's a free pattern on Instagram. I have had this little Mushy Pop with me since my first market in September, and he still has not sold, has not sold. Now, I did make a bunch of, um, and this is my own pattern of these little ones like this, and they're little, pops too but yeah this one right here is my own pattern and I sold one of these just one and I made four of them and I sold one <laughs> so um and I was selling these for ten dollars and yeah one sold and that was it so I have all these left and I don't know why mine's not selling because everybody else says how they just fly off the table, right? I don't know if it's because I used a mushroom color for the body instead of white. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't know. But I had this, and the actual color of this Bernat blanket yarn is called mushroom. I mean, that's like the actual name. And so I used it thinking, oh, that would be a good color for the mushrooms. Apparently not. Because for whatever reason, people are not liking them. Just not liking them. Okay. Now, the next thing, you guys, that I made that did not sell. And I want to tell you this. I started making this pattern um, there is a YouTube video for this. It's a little Christmas tree popper and it's made with all of these bobble stitches and I was making it out of Parfait Chunky and you guys doing these bobble stitches in this darker colored yarn was driving me bananas and I mean bananas. I yeah. I finally quit, as you can see. I just stopped. I said, nope, not doing it. And what did I do? I made it without the bobble stitches. And I think that it looks really cute. Look at that. I still think it looks really cute. I got the little face on, on him, see? I think he looks cute, little Christmas tree. And he pops just fine, but I didn't have all the work of all those bobble stitches. 
and I think he turned out as cute as can be. I only made one of them and nobody bought him. I had a couple of people like pick him up and play with him, but nobody actually bought him. So I still have him, but he's only one, one little guy. <laughs> so yeah. Now this is a whale that I made out of, um, I think I made this out of Sweet Snuggles, the Michael's yarn. And I've had this whale since the beginning, I want to say. I think I've had it since the beginning, and my whale still has not sold. And it's so cute. It's like, so cute, right? Nobody's interested in buying him. I don't know why. It just hasn't happened. And it's just like um, my jellyfish. I've had this jellyfish since the beginning. And nobody, nobody has purchased him either. I have sold a, all of my octopuses. Every single one of my octopuses have sold. I have zero left. And every market I've made octi, they have all sold. So apparently those are good things to sell. Oh, now my bees. I had five bees, and I had um, one pink, one blue, and the rest were the traditional bee color, and I've sold three of the bees, and they were all in the traditional color, the yellow and black. So it seems like the yellow and black bees are the best sellers. No, I take that back. My blue bee also sold. So I had a blue and black bee and it did sell to a little boy he picked that bee and that sold for $25 these are $25 because they're pretty big pretty big and um anyway one blue blue with black stripes sold and then the other two were the traditional yellow or actually I think I think I had three I did have three yellow and black ones that sold so yeah um the other items that sold really well were my axolotls so i have some axolotls that are actually pretty big i sell these for thirty dollars and i sold one two three four five of them i sold five of them so I would say these were one of my best sellers. Axolotls, one of my best sellers. Um, let's see. Another one of my best sellers was my little turtle. That's my own pattern. Um, I had a little, it's a little land turtle. And, um, you guys, I'm in the process of writing that pattern out, so I'll be able to share it with you guys when I get it written out. And I have no more of them to even show you because I sold every single one of them. And I had, uh, several people coming to my table because they saw other people carrying my turtles and they wanted to buy one and i was like so sad that i had to tell them i didn't have any left and i want to tell you all about one uh person a, a little girl in particular her name is laney and she was just the cutest sweetest little girl ever um laney saw my turtles and she just fell in love with one of my turtles and she wanted that turtle and her mom was um kind enough to get her the turtle so laney picked the turtle that she wanted and i believe she got one of my uh pink turtles with the um if you guys can see it up here 
this right there. That was the shell color, and then the body color was a solid light pink. And she named her little turtle Lily. And you guys, you cannot believe how she hugged that little turtle and gave it a little kiss on the top of the head. It was like the sweetest thing ever. It just made my heart melt. I just felt so good inside. And I was like, this is why I make these plushies. This is why I do it, you know, for that exact thing. And I mean, Lainey, if you ever see this video, honey, you made my day. You made my week. It was amazing to see you with your little turtle that I made and how much you loved her. So thank you, Lainey. Yeah, uh, that was amazing, you guys. I wish I could have had that on video. I really do. I would have gotten you know, permission from Lainey's mom, but uh, I would have loved for you to have seen that, you guys. That's like total inspiration to do this, you know. But yeah, so getting back to my uh, next items here, I did make some worry worms. So here's my worry worms. Let me put them over here so you can see them a little bit better. So I made these in all different colors. I had pink, I had purple, I had blue, I had yellow. I think I even had an orange. Um, oh my gosh, I had so many colors. And I sold them all except for these three. And I sold these for $10 a piece. So these were one of my best sellers, these little worry worms people really liked the worry worms and i have them on the little um card backing with the little poem and then i also have the little tags on here the little worry worm uh, tag and it also has the little poem on the back but people went crazy over these and i think they're using them for like stocking stuffers so i sold a bunch of them yeah, because this is all I have left, the three. And I actually made two of these while I was at the market because I got down to just one. And I was like, oop, better make some more just in case. But since it was only four hours long, I, I didn't really need any more. But now I have a few. So it's all good. It's all good. But let's see, what else do I have? I have my snake, you guys. Um, my snake is still with me. I have had the snake since September, since the beginning, and I have not sold this snake, but I have had people custom order snakes from me because they saw this one. They just didn't want the purple and black. So it's good that I had the snake because, you know, it was nice to get some custom orders. And, um, yeah. They just wanted different colors. So here's my snake. I think he's really cute. And I like the purple. <laughs> if you ask me, purple is my favorite color. Well, it's one of my favorite colors. But yeah. So the other things that I have are some chickens, you guys. Now, what I want to say about these chickens, this is my very last mama mabel chicken and this is my very last um marin chicken so two totally different patterns with totally different looks but both of these are good selling chickens this one outsold this one but this one is still a really good seller my um mabel chickens just Flew off the shelf. I mean, I sold every one of them except for this one. And you guys, I sold these for $30. Look how big they are. I mean, that's as big as my head. So I did sell these for $30. And like I said, I sold them all. So I have one left. So I definitely need to make more of these chickens. And I need to make more of these chickens too. So chickens, bok, bok, bok. chickens, <laughs> fun. 
you gotta love a good chicken, right? And, oh. And then, you guys, I wanted to show you. This is a new pattern by um, Craftsco Bloom. She's the designer for this chicken. And she just came out with the pattern for this little guy right here. Now, I just made this, like, just a couple of days ago. So I haven't had a chance to take this one to any markets or craft fairs yet. So my next craft fair is Decem December 3rd at Lindbergh High School. And I will be taking um, more of these little chickens. And it's a bird pattern. I think she calls it her bird pattern. But she's no longer on Etsy. She has her own website now. So I will link that website because, I mean, look how cute that is. And it sits, it'll actually sit on a shelf. But how cute is that little chicken? I mean, I can't wait for people to see it because I think it's going to be a bestseller. I really do. So, yeah. That's all good. And then, you guys, I still have my sunflower turtle. So, you guys know I made this big sunflower turtle. Um, when did I make this? I had this for my last market, which was at the, the weekend before Halloween. So, almost a month ago. I made it right before that market and I took it to the market with me. Now, I did not sell the sunflower um, turtle, but I did sell all of my big sea turtles. I sold them for $45 and they're by, um, let's see, Crochet by Jenna. That's who that pattern was by. Now, this pattern is not by Jenna. Um, this is, um, totally different. Um, I didn't have a pattern for this turtle, so I used the pattern, uh, the body and the head is the pattern for Crochet by Jenna. That is her, this is her body from her turtle, and then I did the shell on my own. So uh, I didn't have a pattern to do the shell, so I did it on my own. So it's kind of half my pattern and half crochet by Jenna. <laughs> so because the body and the head are her pattern exactly, it's just the shell is my own pattern. So this part and the flower part is my own. But yeah, um... So I took it to um, my last fair. It didn't sell. And then it didn't sell at this little holiday boutique either. So I'm hoping it'll sell at the next one because it's my last one of the year. So yeah, December 3rd, my final craft fair. But yeah, so I have that. And then I do want to show you my froggies. Now I have... Um, I have two leggy froggies left. I have this jumbo leggy froggy that's made out of Bernat Blanket Extra. So it's huge and it's lime green, like a lime green. I don't know if you can tell if the camera is really showing the color. And then I have this little one that's made out of Parfait Chunky. And it's made out of, um, it's not limey green. It's more of like a minty green. But he's the only one of the regular froggies, leggy froggies that I have left. Now this pattern, I believe, is um, by not, not Jaded. So, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what her... What she goes by, not jaded, but I'll have to look that up <laughs> to make sure. But anyway, all of the leggy froggies that I did in the um, Michael's yarn, the Michael's, it's not the Sweet Snuggles, it's the other one, um, the regular like 
uh, not baby edition yarn. It's their regular uh, velvet, not velvet, chenille. chenille. Can't talk today, y'all. So it's the regular chenille, and it's an agave. It's that darker green. All of those sold. This was the only one I had in a different color, and it did not sell. <laughs> All of the ones in the darker green in that um, agave color, every one of those sold. So this is all I have left. Um, now I did make another froggy. And you guys, I just have to show you this. He's got some cheekers. Do you see his little cheekers? Uh -huh. I hope you can see his cheekers there. Yeah. I think you can see his little his little cheeks but you guys so many p people picked him up and looked at him and loved him and then they put him back down so I don't know if I have him priced too high and that's the problem so I think what I'm gonna do is like lower his price by like five dollars and see if he will sell at my next craft fair so that I don't have to store him <laughs> until I start doing markets again, which won't be until like May. So, yeah, I don't want to store him for, you know, six months. But anyway, so that's my plan with this one. And let's see. Uh, trying. To, I have all these things over here that are left. So I only have two more items that are left to show you guys and that is my uh dino lovey and my dinosaur lovey is completely embroidered so this is safe for a baby there are no safety eyes so any baby can have this and you guys look at him he is like i just love this i'm like totally obsessed by him because I love him. I mean, if he doesn't sell, I'm like totally tempted to keep him. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> look at that. Look at his tail and his little spikes going up. Look at all that. I love this. Love this. And this pattern is by Mama Made Minis. That's what the, who this pattern is by. And you guys also have a teddy bear. And the teddy bear is also by Mama Makes Minis. Now this dino is the regular size one and the teddy bear, I made it in the mini version. So the teddy bear, you can see the difference. Like, <laughs> see how much um, the size difference is here? So the dinosaur is like a lot bigger than the teddy bear, but yeah. I'm still carrying these with me, and these have been with me since September. So I might think I might lower the price by like five dollars and see if they sell in December. But if they don't sell, I'm definitely keeping this one because <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So you guys, that is basically all I have left except. I do have five keychains left. So I have this little froggy. I have a little mini bee that's really tiny. I have a blue gummy bear left. I have a brown gummy bear that I actually put little eyes on this one. It's the only one I put eyes on. And then I have one of the little Mabel chickens and it's the baby Mabel chicken. And I had more of the little chickens, but they sold. They sold. A bunch of my gummy bears sold. I had little leggy froggy keychains. They sold. And I had other little bee keychains, and they sold. So my keychains were actually one of my best sellers. Yeah, because I sold a ton of these ton of these keychains. Um, another item that you might be surprised about 
that I sold was kitchen scrubbies. And you guys, I make my kitchen scrubbies out of the Scrubology Scrub It yarn that you can get from Hobby Lobby. They're, it's $4.49 on regular um, price, but every other week it's 30% off. And that's when I buy it, makes it super cheap. And I make the scrubbies and I sell them for $5 a piece. And I can get, I want to say four scrubbies out of one ball of yarn. So that's $20 out of one ball of yarn. And I I do make them two-toned. I make like the inside and I make them round. I make the inside one color and then I make the outside. I go around one round of an outside color and I make it a contrasting like a darker color not really a contrasting color but a darker color except for the Christmas ones I make those in red and green so I'll either make the body of it in green and then the trim in red or vice versa and I sold every one of them I I made I think I made about 12 no, I, in total, I think I made like 24 of them and I sold every one of them all gone. <laughs> and, uh, so that's kind of surprising kitchen scrubbies, everybody. That's a thing. Now, the other thing I made, I made these, um, these velvet hair ties and I make these mostly out of Bernat Velvet, and I bought these little tags from Timu, and I just put them on the little tag, and then I put them on the stand, which I also believe I got from Timu. No, I got this from Amazon. I'll leave a link um, in the description below. I think this was $20 from Amazon, and it's just perfect. The one I got from Timu is this plastic one right here that my keychains hang on. This one is actually made of metal and I hang my scrunchies on it and I sold quite a few scrunchies. This is all I have left. So, and I sold these for $5 a piece as well. So these were my least expensive items on my table were my kitchen scrubbies and my scrunchies and I just dropped one but I sold quite a few of these scrunchies I'm sorry I don't have the exact number but I did sell quite a few of them so they were a good seller but overall my axolotls were a good seller my chickens were a really good seller and my number one selling item was my pickles my emotional support pickles completely sold out just like my little turtles so the my my top sellers were my turtles that were my own pattern and my emotional support pickles which were also my own pattern although i did buy the little tag off of etsy and it's a pdf that you can print and it just has a little saying and um, it shows a little pickle and it's really cute little tag and I'm sorry I don't have one because I sold all of my pickles who knew right y'all who knew but yeah so those were my top top sellers one more time pickles um my turtles axolotls and chickens those were the best selling items i either completely sold out or i almost sold out so those were the best and then um i would also say the um though the worry worms were really good and the scrubbies were like these two were my next best sellers besides my keychains. My keychains were really good sellers. I sold almost every keychain. I had a bunch of them. 
I sold them. I had to put more out and then I sold most of those. So I literally have five keychains left and that's it. So yeah, my worst seller, my big jellyfish. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's still there. Um, oh, another good seller, the bees, and especially in the traditional yellow and black. So yeah, um, my other worst selling ones, <laughs> my, my mushrooms, my little poppy mushrooms. Nobody wanted to buy my mushrooms except for one person. So one person. Yay! And I'm so excited. And you guys, that's going to be it for today because my son just walked up with his girlfriend, Paige, and I'm super excited about her being here. So I'm going to let you all go for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. So thank you everybody for sticking with me through this video and I will see you all soon. Bye!